Hi, in this video I want to present the key ideas of model soups, averaging weights of multiple fine-tuned models, improves accuracy without increasing inference time. This paper introduces us to a new approach of fine-tuning models, which relieves the pain of determining the appropriate parameters and random soup. It is common practice to train deep learning models with different hyperparameters in order to identify the optimal configuration for achieving the best results. Any student has felt the exhaustion of training a model for days with various hyperparameters just to discover that the architecture is unsuitable for the task at hand. Even random seed selection can have a significant impact. This paper proposes a new approach. Instead of selecting the individual fine-tuned model which achieves the highest accuracy on the held-out validation set, we can average the weights of models fine-tuned independently and refer to the results as a model soup. Because models that have been tuned independently from the same initialization have the same error landscape, averaging their weights can help them perform better. As long as your models have the same initial state, they could be combined as ingredients of a model soup. Three recipes are proposed to prepare such soup, two of which are more useful. Number one, uniform soups. They are made by uniformly averaging all of the model weights. Number two, greedy soups. Ingredients are incrementally added to the soup if they increase the accuracy of the held out data. The authors conducted a large random parameter search for fine-tuning a clip model on ImageNet. The greedy soup outperforms every single fine-tuned model in terms of accuracy. Uniform soup is also good. It achieves highest accuracy on five distribution shifts. Their greedy soup of VITG model achieves 90.94% accuracy on ImageNet outperforming CodeNet, which used to be the state-of-the-art on this benchmark. FYI, I've also covered CodeNet in one of my videos, link to which is available in the description. But what makes this approach so effective? If we look at the training loss and test error landscapes, we can have a better idea. Similar initialized models with different seeds or parameters might wind up on opposite sides of the optimum point of loss and error landscapes. When compared to separate models, interpolating the weights of such fine-tuned solutions can improve accuracy. Also, more uncorrelated solutions, models that generate an angle closer to 90 degrees, may lead to greater accuracy on the linear interpolation route. To conclude, this research presents a novel approach to fine-tuning models that is far less traumatic and might potentially save many students from falling into the pit of despair. Model soups are a terrific idea and it would be great if more papers focused on these time-saving methods, which have the potential to transform the way we perform deep learning experiments forever. Thanks for watching. I hope you find this video educational and informative. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.